Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be a reading all about how your person is thinking or feeling about you, about the connection. We're also going to take a look at what energies or intentions they have towards you. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so will not resonate with every Cancer watching. Just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, and let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, please, for Cancer regarding love. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to cancer? You have taught me so much. I have learned from my mistakes, okay? I think you taught them what it means to be accountable for your mistakes. What else for cancer? What else? What is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to cancer? I am burdened by guilt and regret. You are the only person for me. So yeah, okay. Tale as old as time. We will be together again is at the bottom of the deck if you're curious. So I don't feel like you are with this person. Um, this person screwed up. I mean, that's just the easiest way, the simplest way to describe the, this energy. Um, they feel burdened, they're regretful. Um, and I feel like they want to tell you that they've changed, that they've learned, you know, I'm different now, that kind of energy. And it's kind of sad because I'm picking up a, a cold energy, almost like as a response. <laughs> almost like maybe cancer, you're done. Um, or this is too late for you, for this person to return. We'll see if that's the case with the tarot. But I feel like this person has learned a lesson. Whatever happened between you, it taught this person something. Spirit, can you get more insight, please? Clarity on this person's energies towards cancer. What are this person's energies towards cancer? How are you feeling or thinking? about cancer or this connection. High Priestess. Knight of Wands. Ten of Cups. Interesting. <laughs> Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Hermit. So this person is far, far from you. This is the cold energy I'm picking up. Or you, you, there's a distance between you. It could be a physical distance, but I'm getting emotional for most of you. Um, like the trail has gone cold. <laughs> that, that kind of energy. Virgo energy with the Hermit here. With the high priestess too, it's almost like I'm getting like communication is like very slim to none. You know, I don't think that a lot of you are in communication or in contact with this person. For some of you, this person thinks about you at night. And they, okay, I'm picturing someone looking at their phone. So... I, I don't want to, they're, they're looking at either pictures of you or texts from you or something to do with you on their phone at night. Okay, that's what I'm getting. So let's see. What do we need to know, Spirit? Tell me more about this High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? Why is the High Priestess here? The fourth coin, yeah, someone, someone's holding back here. Um, can I get one more for the High Priestess? Why is the High Priestess here? Three of Swords. Can I get one more for the High Priestess? I feel like this person is almost like they're keeping their pain to themselves. Um, not sharing their pain with anyone. Um, Tell me more about the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? 
strength, Leo energy. Bottom of the deck, the tower. Oh my goodness. And the lovers. Gemini energy. So there is definitely a breakup here, a separation for sure. And oh, the star after that, Aquarius energy. Somebody could be thinking about healing, restoring this connection. There was definitely a breakup, a disconnect. Something happened between you and this person. And I feel like now they kind of want to come forward, especially with this Knight of Wands. Seven of Wands, Ace of Swords, yeah. They might be wanting to talk here, have clarity. Four of Wands, kind of like this Ten of Cups. So this person, I feel like their hope is to have a successful conversation. I feel that's the big hurdle here is um, opening up the lines of communication. Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength. Because I almost get the sense that strength is here because someone's like working up the courage to do something. Yeah, Page of Wands. So I feel like this is someone that's like working up the courage, courage to get to this Knight of Wands here. The world and the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, <laughs> this is pretty clear. Uh, new beginning in love. Again, I don't know. I think this is going to completely be up to you, Cancer. This is just a reading about what this person is thinking or feeling. And of course, it won't resonate with all of you. But, you know, you don't have to do anything regarding these feelings. You can ignore their feelings altogether. <laughs> Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Oh, my God. Okay. Four of Swords. Five of Wands. So this person hasn't reached out possibly because... I don't know, maybe they go back and forth on what they want to do because Knight of Wands, Four of Swords, they're definitely opposites. <laughs> the Four of Swords is someone that's like resting, reflecting, doing some serious thinking and uh, healing. And the Knight of Wands is like, I just want to get out there. Not too much thinking involved. Now with the Knight of Coin, I'm getting somebody that's trying to be practical. Um, but I wonder too if this is just because they know that in order to get your attention or open up the lines to, commu to communicate, I don't think like just a hi, hello, how are you is going to be enough. We have death, Scorpio energy at the bottom of the deck with the three of, of coin. So again, I feel I, I'm, I'm picturing someone really working on bringing you something. There's the moon, Pisces energy, and the sun. Because I feel like there's no, there's probably something that they're not clear on here. Again, polar opposites, the sun and the moon. Nine of coin after that. I feel like this is how they view you, Cancer. So, you know, it could be that they want to illuminate um, how they feel. Like, for example, reveal how they feel, I guess I should say, uh, to you. But with the death card here, I don't know. It's almost like, once again, they want to show you how much they've changed, what, what they've done differently, how they've grown, what they're, what they're all about now. You know, I'm picking up that energy. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups? Okay. King of Coin. Tell me about the Ten of Cups for Cancer. Why is the Ten of Cups here? The world again. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Could be dealing with an Earth sign. I have um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here, or in a uh, Fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Can I get one more for the Ten of Cups? This one. The Chariot. There you are, Cancer. Yeah, this person wants to come forward. There's the lovers again, um, bottom of the deck, and the star. Yeah, this is very clear reading. Um, this person could literally be coming over to see you with the world, the chariot, the six of swords showed up. You know, bridge that gap of distance. I feel like with the five of wands and the four of swords and the four of 
uh, pentacles here. I feel like this person holds back from what they truly want to do out of kind of like a fear of causing drama or difficulty or ending things like in a fight here. Like they don't want to cause a fight. It's th th that that would be like a, a nightmare for them because that's not what they are hoping to achieve. Tell me about the five of wands. Why is the five of wands here? Page of cups. Yeah. See, this person could be wanting to um, apologize for what already happened. So I think what already happened between you is kind of like a burden in a sense because they're burdened by guilt and regret over what happened. So I feel like it kind of, there's a fear there. Now with the eight of coin, I think they're trying to work past this fear, right? Like that's similar to that three of coin energy. Someone that's trying to maybe show you that they're different. Show you that they're willing to put an effort energy into this. It's almost like I'm picturing someone that wants to have everything perfect perfectly aligned and i wonder if that's because they truly want things to be perfect or if that's just what they tell themselves oh i am going to talk to cancer I, I am i just got to make sure that such and such is done you know but i will you know but <laughs> but deep down they might not you know so i really hope this person gets the strength i guess the courage to speak up here with the page of wands you know i feel like they're trying to tell you more than just i like you i care about you i still love you they want to bring more than that so what are their intentions or energies towards you spirits angels spirits for cancer what are this person's energies or intentions towards cancer or this connection other energies or intentions towards cancer or this connection? What are their energies or intentions? Their energies or intentions? Parting ways? What are their energies or intentions when it comes to cancer or this connection? Sudden realization? What are their energies or oops? What are their energies or intentions when it comes to cancer or this connection? Oops. Hidden feelings far apart. Yeah. There's a big divide here. Bottom of the deck, new beginnings. You know, parting ways is the first card out. And this is a card about separation, divide, heartbreak. There's a disconnect between you. Um, far apart, there's distance, separation, divide. Distance is affecting your connection, definitely. And this person senses it, feels it, knows that this is a challenge when it comes to you being together. Um, I feel like this person no longer wants to hide what they're truly thinking or feeling. Um, maybe they've realized something about how they feel, but honestly, I think they've known all along because you are the only person for me <laughs> is here. You taught me so much and New Beginnings is here. Oh, and coming together right behind that. So I feel like this is somebody who deep down, they always knew you were the one for them and they always knew that what ended up happening between you, maybe they had a huge part to play, but it's just now that they're realizing that they need to do something about this because I feel like they feel this huge distance it's almost like the longer that time passes the harder it is to bring you together right so that's what i have for you cancer regarding your person what they're thinking or feeling about you i hope it resonated for you i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please consider hitting the like button subscribing leaving me a comment if you want to know if you want to know if you want to say hi or you just want to share how it resonated and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care, Cancer.